the Department of Justice is actually probing the NBA when it comes to Ice Cube's big three. Uh, I guess they, you know, Ice Cube is claiming that the NBA has been pressuring players and advertisers not to work with the big three. And, you know, if there's a DOJ probe, there might be some legs to this. Might be a lawsuit, you know, might be a settlement. We don't know. Uh, Ice Cube got an impact award at the Basketball Hall of Fame recently, mm -hmm. that, which was amazing. Yes. Congrats to Ice Cube. Um, you yourself worked with the Big Three. Yes. The Big Three has had some issues. Didn't the season end early? Okay, you were the commentator. Yeah, I was side commentator. So what happened is that the next two years or the year after, it ended early for financial reasons. Right. This is the deal. You remember uh, Bill Gates got in trouble for starving out other companies in his business as well. They okay. came in, they were like, you bought these companies or you act like you got involved so they wouldn't move. The NBA doesn't want anything, anything going after its brand to the point where ESPN had a three-on-three -three tournament. Well, they, they got a three-on-three -three thing. Huh. Yeah, they wind up shutting that down. Having the retired players, um, NBA players with some cachet Add it to, yeah, we still want to see these guys who we used to cheer play the whole time. But if you have a league, think about, let's think about football, right? We had when Donald Trump don't. Yeah, USFL. Now, they, the NFL has something to do with it. Oh, they're, they're part of that now. Yeah. So that's why we have football in the middle of the month, middle of springtime because we can't get enough of it after February. So now we got something else to get into, guys who need to get it. Yeah, I mean, competition is competition. Look what Saudi Arabia is doing in golf and boxing now. Yeah. Like they're, they're All really... they're doing is jumping in the game. Yeah, and they're and, putting their money in. And people don't like that when when you're the only game in town, that's what people have yeah, to come I mean, the see. PGA is trying to get players not to play in Saudi Arabia, but at the end of the day, competition is competition. And look, if you have a retired player who still wants to play and there's a check... Yeah. You know, especially if they didn't manage their money great, they need the money on top of even that. If they Why don't, not? Even if they don't need the money, think about this. They're playing. I remember Mark Jackson said to me, hey, we're up there with Mitch Richmond, um, Kenyon Martin. These guys are way younger than me. They were like, hey, man, we're playing up here in Calabasas. Like, you should come through and run with us. I said, y'all still play basketball? <laughs> I, I was. Yeah, because you don't play anymore. No. Yeah. No, and I could not believe it. They were like, yeah, we, we still get our run on. And I'm thinking, my coach, Ted Gustis, what's up, Ted? He's 60, 60 something years old. Ted is still playing basketball. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I got it all out. I, I left it all in the NBA. I don't, I don't need that shit. I told you, it was at Cedric Entertainer's house. This kid went around me so fast and my legs didn't move. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. You're done. I'm done. <laughs> Yo, kid. Hey, God it was, bless you. It's a great you. run. You got what? Four rings. Four rings. Fifteen. Hey, Twelve on. years. Fifteen. Really? Hey, I just don't have the desire to going into it, but there some guys still do.